Hello dear friends, here we are with this step by step to show you how to create your D2C commerce storefront with the new template in a scratch org, using the scripts and the codes available in the public repository, in addition to some manual configurations. But first of all, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share this knowledge. You know that it will help me to continue delivering quality materials to our community. I will quickly guide you here in this video, but you will have the repository available and I strongly recommend you to read it carefully before you start doing anything. You who already follow me on the channel know that I really want to have some scripts running to get the things done. So the first step is to copy and run this script to start setting up the scratch org. That will take some time, but in addition to organizing from scratch, a store and a digital experience will also be created. So, as I said, that will take some time, and it seems fast because I do video edits to save your time. Meanwhile, the script is running. Let's open the scratch org with another terminal and get back to the readme to start doing other things. These manual steps can really wait until the first execution stop. I mean, the script execution will stop at least twice. So, in the first stop, you can start doing these manual steps. We will start by activating the Refreshed Commerce app, and it is actually not that new anymore, but it's necessary for the app to work, as it's not yet possible to do so using metadata. I mean, something similar can be achieved with metadata in a custom app, but we will cover that later. Now we can access the commerce application in the app launcher, but on the other hand, also confirm many things done by the script in the background. Since the thing is still being configured, never mind about this error alert. And let's continue with the CMS configuration, but that would be needed just in the second stop of the script. We are just doing things in advance. First, adjusting this name, because spoiler alert, in some minutes, we will have other script running to relate the images. So, we will upload now, confirming to publish and selecting the file. After you click on the import button, you get back in the CMS. Wait some minutes and refresh the page to get the structure created there. Do you remember that I told you about the process would be stopped at least twice? So, that is the first time and you need to wait at least 5 minutes after getting here to avoid the error described in the message. After the necessary time, just hit enter to continue doing the things. Never mind about this red error message. And the second stopping will arrive also. And in this moment, you would do that CMS importation to let the images available in the environment, as we already have done here. When the script execution has finished, we can access the digital experience to confirm that what we have in the repository was deployed, replacing the standard template with some adjustments. So, it's time to run the script to create the relationship between the CMS images and the products. And that will be quickly, as we have just few products and images to match. Now, accessing the commerce app, you will not have the error message I told you to never mind, do you remember that? And you will be able to see products and images. It's time to move forward through the readme file and activate the user access policy. That is something very useful. And you can check another video here in the channel where we are doing some preparations to the new user management strategy in your organization. To finish the configuration part proposed to this video, let's add the additional configuration that will allow guest users to do their self-registration process. And the very important step that shall be done automatically or every time you have changes on your products, that is rebuilding the product search index. Now, let's log out from the organization close some tabs and test the storefront created up to here. This first navigation is confirming the guest user configuration applied successfully. But of course, we want to check if the self-registration is also working fine. And due to that, let's create a new account to get some fun. And voila, 
we have the main process working. So, in the next video related with the commerce series, I will show you the necessary configuration regarding taxes, shipping, and other features related with the checkout process. So, stay tuned. And as usual, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this knowledge, and comment down here what you have liked or not in this video. I read all the comments. And as usual, again, Love you all, see you later and bye bye.